Hi everybody. Today we're going to do a how to to make um red velvet cupcakes or we're gonna do like a vlog, I guess the pink can. Yeah. A vlog. Um if you already know how to make them. So it's like a vlog for you and then a how to if you don't know how to make one, but you can Yeah. Maybe just change the bowl because most people maybe just look on the box. <laughs> So the stuff you are going to need is a cupcake tray, wrappers, <laughs> liners, liners, You can make them different colors. Look at that. Yeah. What we also need for this amazing recipe is red velvet mix. What you also need is if you're going to use this, you preheat the oven to 350 for a metal or glass pan. 325 for dark or coated pans. Okay. Grease the sides or the bottom of each pan, shortening or spray like oil so it won't stick. Okay. You need flour and then you need to blend. You need water, oil, egg, and a large bowl. You don't need flour. Yeah. Because we're not greasing the pan. Um, yeah. And then you need, like, cake mix, water, oil, egg. And you put that all into a large bowl at a low speed until moistened. Oh. Well, well, I'll I'll tell you how the exact much of water and oil when we start making these. Okay. So let's get started here. First thing, we're gonna put. What do we do after that? Where does the box go? Oh, oh, some other stuff that you need to make your um make your cupcakes look cute. Um, we got amazing glazes. Yeah, and it's like a dessert topping. And then we also got icing. And there's also in 
like different colors, but this one we just got primary colors because we just thought that would be like classical. And yeah. we just wanted to do something like that. I wanted pink, purple, teal, and white. Just joking. Anyway, so let's get started with all our things. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all of their Hold on. Olive oil in it. Yeah. 
If you do not have enough water, it will be dry. And if you have too much water, it will be liquid. Like the brownie ball that Christina made for us. So I'm going to dump this in. No. Yeah. Ooh, it turned red. So it is turning red, as you may all shall see. Wow. Oh, and then I'm going to fill it up to the one fourth line right here. that much in. Now I'm going to stir it. Stir it? Stir it. No. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is what I'm taking. I got my eggs from Sunny Farms. They're 18 large and they're gray eggs. A fun fresh egg. And I'm going to take three of them and crack them. No shells in it because then it will be a crunchy. And then you're going to wash your hands. Because, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> so I just cracked egg neatly, hoping to get those shells. And I just put it right on top and smush it, okay? Smush all the cake batter down and everything. Is that what you need? Okay. That's one. Ready? Two. That's two. And now I'm going to take my last egg. Don't get any shells. I'm an amazing at it, so I don't get any shells. And then you got your three eggs right there. Now I'm going to close up your eggs, and you're going to make sure these are refrigerated. I can't put them in the fridge. So guys, this is what it looks like so far. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to just take our kitchen ink. Which one's low? on low, which is your first knobber, <laughs> and just turn up one thing, and then you're just going to do that until it's all moist and looks like a cupcake. And you'll see no egg because you don't want egg in your pie. Here. So I'm going to start. Ah! I think that's on low. And it's also getting very red in it. Whoa. Let's pull. Look at that. It just smells so amazing. It smells like I'm in, like, a dream world. Full of, like, all of this moisture stuff. It's still a little clumpy, so I cannot do stop no, yet. Is it done? Now I'm going to put it on medium now for two minutes. Right there, medium. This is medium. It's crazy down here in Swirly Town. Smell that beautiful air. I'm going to start it. Part two. Meet me then. Heh. 